Good morning, everyone. Good morning, aunties, uncles, friends, and allies. Happy belated Indigenous Peoples Day and happy Diwali coming up later this month for those who celebrate. Welcome to another episode of My API Live with your host, Gunjan Mittal where you will receive accessible, pertinent information about health and mental health, safety concerns, and community cultural events. For those of you who are new to this broadcast, the information presented in my API Live is particular to the Asian community, yet still relevant to the greater Austin community. There are a lot of things happening or have happened since the beginning of this month, which I'll highlight in just a few minutes. Today, we'll go deep into gratitude with our mindfulness practice, talk about some resources to keep your home safe during extreme weather, and share some community events. So please stay tuned till the very end. As usual, we want members from the Asian community to be able to listen to this show in multiple languages by offering you an easy telephone number to call in. If you'd like to listen to this broadcast in any of the following languages, then please take note of the numbers listed to the right of me on the screen. To listen in Burmese, you can call 512-768-8862. To listen in Vietnamese, please call 512-729-6206. And to call and listen in Mandarin, you can call 512-846-7161. If you follow the news, you may know about recent unrests happening around the world. And at times it can make us sad, angry, worried, and helpless. I know that these feelings and emotions can be overwhelming. So let's continue to work together towards healing and resiliency by acknowledging our deep emotions surrounding current events or anything else weighing heavy on your mind. Let's just sit with what's showing up for us right now. As you sit with your emotions, if anything does come up that feels uncomfortable or unsettling to you, then please take care as you see fit. It means, if it means that you need to pause from this practice, then please do so. Now that we're taking time to observe ourselves, our thoughts and our emotions, Let's now observe our breath. Relax your shoulders and close your eyes or turn your gaze downward if you like. How is your breathing? And by that, I mean, does it feel fast and shallow or slow and deep. Now notice your breath slowing down as you observe it more and more.
allow the breath to flow naturally, smoothly, in and out of the nose. It is a wonderful thing to sit and observe your breath in between your busy thoughts. The purpose of doing this is so that you can take a pause from actively thinking about anything. It allows you to make space for quietude and ultimately finding some sense of peace and calm. And it's important to find that place of stillness during your day so that you can give your mind and body a moment to rest, a moment to reflect rather than react, and to ground yourself enough so that your nervous system can reset itself, or in other words, can ha have a break from the hard work that it is doing in your body. And while we're here with our breath and freely breathing without too much interruption or any thoughts, let's bring in a singular thought. And that thought is of gratitude for this moment in time. Take this time to give thanks or just be in a state of gratitude for being alive, having your breath to breathe, and this moment. Notice how automatically your body takes care of you and how automatically the breath literally breathes life into you. I invite you to be in a state of gratitude for your whole being if you can. At the very least, sit with this feeling of calmness for the moment. And this can really help to extend gratitude in other parts of our lives, despite the daily struggle or negative emotions that we may feel. I'm grateful for all parts of my aliveness, the good and the bad, and I'm so happy that you're here to join me in this healing journey. Thanks for showing up. So for those of you who are new to this broadcast or for those who are used to seeing me only on the Awesome Public Facebook page, we've now expanded to Awesome Public Health's YouTube channel. So now you can watch my API Live on Facebook or on YouTube. And you can find the link to Facebook and YouTube in the comments section. Please follow or subscribe so it's easier to find in the future. A reminder that we are releasing the broadcasts once a month and recorded audio is available in Burmese, Vietnamese, and Mandarin, and they're posted directly onto the site. Now you can watch and listen at the same time. Please feel free to share the channel with your friends and family via email or text. And now that we're already in the fall season, we want you all to be prepared and safe during the upcoming winter season. After the winter storm Yuri and other extreme weather events that have been going on, I'd like to share some of Austin Energy's weatherization assistance offers for Austin residents. They have free home energy improvements for qualifying customers with low to moderate incomes. These improvements can save you money on monthly electric bills while improve the air that you breathe and make your home more comfortable in the winter and summer. 
free home energy improvements may include insulating the house to keep it warmer in the winter, sealing any cracks so the cold air won't get in, adding carbon monoxide and smoke detectors in the home, installing LED lighting or a new thermostat that allows you to monitor how much energy you are using and make adjustments to save on electricity. For customers who participate in this free weatherization program, Austin Energy is now offering a rebate and help with purchasing a new air conditioner. And you can get zero interest for up to 10 years on a new air conditioning system. So if you've been thinking of replacing your air conditioner, now is the time to do it. Please talk with the Austin Energy Inspector and participating con contractor during the assessment if you're interested in rebates and financing for a new air conditioning system. To apply for the program, you can go to the Austin Energy webpage, which will drop in the chat. These home energy improvements can mean saving money and making your home cooler in the summer and warmer in the winter. We hope you will be able to take advantage of all of these services. Do call Austin Energy at 512-482-5346 with any questions. On the COVID-19 news, APH will be closing our testing site at Metz Elementary School on October 27th because not many people have been using this service. If you would like to pick up free home test kits, you may do so until October 27th. We know sometimes the need for testing or vaccine comes up suddenly. So you can call APH Equity Line if you have any questions. And that number to the Equity Line is 512-972-5560. And the weekend is here. And if you're looking for an outing, we'd like to invite you to a special exhibit at the Asian American Resource Center called Seeking Community, Asian Americans Belonging Within the Austin American Statesman. This photo exhibit is curated by Lizzie Chen in collaboration with the Austin History Center's Community Archives Program. It's currently on display and the opening reception of this exhibit begins on October 28th. So if you'd like to see the photographs of Asian and Asian American folks in Austin who lived here decades ago, along with their amazing triumphant stories, then you don't wanna miss this celebration of Asian immigrants. As we close out today's broadcast of My API Live, I'd like to leave you on this note of celebration and gratitude. Let's celebrate one another and our differences. Let's learn to be grateful for what we have right now, for our bodies and our minds, for our family and friends, for nature all around us, to uplift our spirits when we feel low, and for anything else you can think of. Once again, Happy Diwali to those who celebrate this Lunar New Year observed by Hindus all over the world, a festival of lights signifying the triumph of divine truth, goodness, and light over falsehoods, negative thoughts, and actions, and darkness. There is always light at the end of the tunnel, as they say, to bring us back to a state of equilibrium and a state of positivity.
May everyone tuning in today leave with a feeling of lightness and abundance. I look forward to connecting with you next time. And next month, we'll see y'all on the third Friday, since we'll be off on the second Friday when we usually air. We're here on our new easy to access YouTube channel, otherwise every second Friday of the month at 10 a.m. I'll see you next month on November 18th. So be safe, be well, and be kind to one another. Thanks so much.